I'm showing two ways to take leftover sauce and have it for breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a little frittata, uh, which is like an egg pizza, with your leftover cold spaghetti. So in the frying pan here, I got a fair amount of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Then you put in a ton of garlic, a little bit of crushed red pepper flake, because I like it spicy. And then you take your your leftover cold spaghetti and you let it hang out in there and get nice and golden and crunchy and crispy. And then we're gonna pour eggs over it, bake it in the oven. So to the oven. Here's the frittata we started at the front of the show. This was actually something my grandpa Emmanuel used to do. Fry up the uh, cold spaghetti the next day, add some eggs, put it in the oven. Beautiful, just like that, that's delicious. But it's gonna get even better now because we're gonna put that nice tomato basil sauce down over the top make like an egg pizza pie out of it. I told you you could have sauce for breakfast, look at this. Of course this makes a delicious easy dinner too. And then we're gonna put cheese all over the top. You know it's one of those Italian blends, it's got the provolone and the asiago, oh, all over the top. Then you pop it back in the oven to melt the cheese. I know, two really good ideas for the leftover spaghetti and the leftover sauce. So you put that mountain of cheese back on top, just pop it back under the broiler just to melt the cheese. Goodbye, we'll see you in a minute. So, I'm working on birds in a nest here. You take a big hunk of nice crusty bread, put a water glass up on top of it and cut around it, you make a little hole in the bread. I got some frying up in a pan here. You fry up the first side, you flip it over, put some nice peppers in there, roasted red peppers. We got garlic oil going on, it smells delicious already, but it's about to get even more interesting. Then I put a little sprinkle of cheese over the bread, a little Parmigiano Reggiano on both. These are gonna be some ultimate birds in the nest with lots of plumage and feathers and stuff going on. A little sprinkle of something green, flat leaf parsley, you could use basil, whatever you have in the house. And then you nest the bird. Oh, so cute. You just drop an egg down in. Then you cook the egg by tenting the pan. You gotta keep the heat in the pan. Nice. Oh, that looks so delicious. I could just have it that with a fork. Anyway, you take a little skillet, put it over the top, or a little piece of tin foil, and just let that cook over gentle heat. Turn the heat down once you get the eggs in there, and when the eggs are done enough for you, then you take it out, put a little sauce on the top, call it a day. They're starting to set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little sauce on top of them and blanket them. Oh, that nice marsala sauce going down over the top there. And then we'll just let them keep gently cooking. Oh, nice. Birds in the nest with beautiful sauce all over the top. Eggs, fried peppers, garlic, oil, cheese. How gorgeous is that?